Today on Live with Lori. Lori prepares Parmesan crusted pork tenderloin. Plus, State Senator Thad Altman stops by to help serve up some political food for thought. guest is Senator Thad Altman. Hi, Lori. Hi, Thad. How are you? Great. Good to be here. Great kitchen. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. Uh, Today we're going to cook a Parmesan crusted pork tenderloin with cheese grits and wilted spinach. How's that sound to you? Uh, Awesome. Do you cook? Uh, I do a little bit. Mostly I'm the griller. You're the the griller. I boil water from time to time. Well, do you burn it? I do, if I'm not (laughs) careful. Well, let's get started on the grits because those take the longest to cook. Um, do you like cheese grits? You're from the South. Love yeah. any kind of grits. Yeah, well, these are... I grew up in grits. Me too. Me too. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little oil in our pan. And we've got some grated onion. Can you dump that in there? Absolutely. I can handle um, that. And we're just okay. going to um, just heat that up and make it a little translucent, maybe three to five minutes. Stir it up. We'll stir it up okay. a little bit. All right. And while you're stirring, I'm going to ask, start asking you some questions. Sounds great. Oh, uh, what? Smell good. Oh, doesn't that smell good? Yeah, awesome. Uh, the thing about the onions is it keeps the grits nice and moist. I don't think I've ever had onions in my grits. Well, we've had cheese Never. grits, haven't you? Yeah, but I don't think onions. Are you won't onions. taste them. You won't wow. taste them. Um, while you're doing that, I want to ask you, uh, what got you interested in politics? Well, I grew up in politics. Uh, my um, my father always worked in campaigns, always, and he always brought me along, and that's sort of the bug bit. And I grew up uh, working from campaigns from elementary school. I, I did an internship in Tallahassee with Jason Steele and came back and ran for the county commission. I had worked with his brother, Val Steele, in this mm-hmm. real estate company, right. and uh, Val was one of my mentors, uh, a former county commissioner, right. a great county commissioner, and it all started then. So what, what positions have you held in elected office? I was a county commissioner for eight years. Uh, then I ran for the House, Florida House. I served in the Florida House for, for six, and I've been in the Senate for four. That, well, that's a lot of campaigning. A lot. I, oh, I, I was trying to remember how many campaigns I've been in, how many election cycles. I think 11 now. Mm-hmm. Uh, started in 84 when Ron Reagan ran for re-election. Wow. Wow. Um, is that when you came and talked to my dad? Oh, yes. I've known your dad for a long time. He's a great, great man. I think I remember you coming to his office. Well, you know, being in politics, you know, you know you, you're know, married to a wonderful woman, and you have three beautiful kids. Yeah. How does that figure into, you know, the whole equation of, you know, because campaigning is hard work. Run, being in office is hard work. That's the hardest part. I love my job. I, I, I love being a public servant. The hardest part is the time away from family. And I remember when I was running for the Senate, I sort of, I always include my family in those decisions. And they were 100% supportive because they get it. The kids get it. They've been to Tallahassee. They've watched Session. Uh, they know how important uh, government is in people's lives and how important democracy is and to uh, making sure government's responsive to the people. And so they understand, they get it, and they're very, very supportive. And they enjoy going up and seeing Session. Oh, They've I got bet. to see things that a lot of kids never get a chance oh, to I see. Oh, I bet. I bet. Well, so um, there's an upside, too. Have they campaigned for you? Oh, absolutely. They've, they, have you sent them door-to-door? Uh, they've done a little door-to-door. They, I tell you, they, what they love, enjoy the most is when we film commercials, as of what we're doing here. They love the cameras and the light. It's exciting. Uh, we've done some of that. Um, they've uh, done waving on the side of the road. And, you know... They've, they've had their share. Yeah? They enjoy it. They really enjoy it. So, how does your wife feel about being a single mom sometimes when you're in Tallahassee? Well, it's funny. She sort of uses that term when I'm away for a couple months. It's, it's kind of like being a single mom. You know, I'm, I'm blessed. God has blessed me with a wife who loves uh, politics and public service, um, and she's incredibly supportive. Mm-hmm. Uh, she just recently went back to work. I used to see her a lot. She'd spend a month up in Tallahassee. Uh, but she's a school teacher, and she uh, kids have gotten a little older, and she's going back to her love of teaching school. So, so where does she teach school? At uh, St. Mary's, St. Mary's Catholic School. What does she teach? She teaches anywhere from pre-K to fourth grade. 
Uh, she she taught, likes the little kids. When we met, she was teaching in the public system up at Challenger Seven Elementary in mm -hmm. Fort St. John, and she's certified as early childhood. So education obviously is a big uh, I issue. I was going to say, yeah. I, education must be a big deal around your house. A big deal. A oh, big wow. Deal. I bet. Yeah. Teachers call me and I say, don't worry. You've got a lobbyist that works well, for Well, that's what I was going to say. I, you know, do, do, does she have her pet issues that she talks to you about, you know, that says, that I need you to do this for me because I think this way or... or does does that do you guys discuss? Absolutely. I'm, I'm I mean, sure I, you discuss, but I, I mean, seek you... her out on issues of education. She's a teacher. She's in the classroom. Uh, she's lived it her entire life. Her mother was a teacher. Oh wow! Uh, so obviously, I think if you want to understand education, the first place to go are, are, are the those in the classroom. Right. The teachers and the kids. The kids probably first and foremost. They know. Uh, so, okay, we're going to okay. pour something in okay, the water. Okay, I'm going to put two cups of water. Oh, I am boiling water. See, I can, I can do the water. See, we're going to, okay, we're yeah. going to get two cups of water in here. And then we're going to put in a cup of milk. And we're going to let this boil. I'm going to try that milk. One of the production guys here says this is good milk, so. This is I good gotta milk. i got to taste it. We all like milk. Of course, I don't drink milk, but... I shouldn't say that on I'm camera. I'm stuck on the skim milk stuff. I don't like the 2% as much. I guess that's what I'm used to. Stay tuned. Come on back after the break because we're going to finish cooking the grits. We're going to roll the pork in a fabulous Parmesan coating. And we're going to speak some more with Senator Thad Altman. When we come back, Lori stirs things up by asking the Senator's thoughts on education. 